Well, it's uh, Friday afternoon, uh, 10 after 1, headed to the cabin. Um, first off, I got to stop Bert's Run and uh, meet my son, park my truck, probably park it at Myers, and then hop in with him. Um, we're going up to A, pick a snowmobile up, and B, I got a slight uh, leak in the roof. Um, but it's not inside the cabin. It's uh, the overhang on the porch. And um, as soon as you walk out the door, and it's right at the door, like. So my brother put some tar on it, and we got a guy coming out to look at it to see and also see if it, if it leaks anymore. But, uh. No, I don't know how much film filming is going to get done. Um, the bugs are going to be terrible. Um, but we're going to do that, get his snowmobile, and then we're going to fight the mosquitoes and go change some uh, SD cards on some cameras. At least four out of six that are out as of right now. So... We'll catch you up at the cabin. Well, guys, uh, man, the mosquitoes. The guy came and uh, there were seven screws popping up on that metal roof. Uh, I'm not gonna be out here too much longer because the mosquitoes are just so bad. Um, I'll show you next time I come up what he had done. But he, he screwed, they were up about that far and the water was getting in, so we put new washers, Loctite, down into them and put tar back on top of them. So that was that. So now them guys went and took a ride, playing their phones. I'm going back into camp. Well guys, it's uh, Saturday, June 8th, I believe. And I'm up at camp. Um, I said in previous videos, I don't like to come up here after the uh, 15th of May because the mosquitoes. Thursday night, and the, it was Thursday night, he was him hauling around a boat coming up here to get it. And he's like, hey, why don't we kill two birds with one stone and go check our trail cameras? Well, you don't have to pull on my cape more than once to get me to come up here. I can tell you that already. But I will say, mosquitoes are horrendous. I mean, horrendous. Um, There is a couple in here, but as soon as you walk out that door, they're just, they just swarm right on you. So, I haven't done any video on because we were swatting mosquitoes and, um, you know, the thermocell, I didn't bring it, but that only works basically when you're sitting still. And uh, we hucked some serious miles today. Um, we were, we took a shower and off. I almost went through a whole can on me and my son and his buddy that came. But they were still bad. I didn't care how much off you had on, they were still they were still bad. Um, I'll put a few pictures up on from what we saw. Um, this wolf here looks like a young one. And there was a few deer at every camera. We checked four cameras, um, and then his, my son's buddy, Jacob, where he's going to be hunting. We got a picture of a couple bucks with him start, starting to sprout. Uh, I had a couple does at 
that clearing. I had two cameras out there. Um, I had another doe at another camera. Nothing, you know, spectacular. No, no big bucks. No, not a lot of deer, which is that's um, expected. So they took off just now to go fill up his truck for gas for the ride home tomorrow. Um, we got his snowmobile on the trailer. Um, it's nice in here, right? occasional mosquito here and there, but it's like 50 some degrees in the cabin right now. It's nice in here. But it's awful. We can't go out and have a bonfire, can't do nothing, and it's a beautiful night for one out there right now. So I just thought I'd throw this in here. Um, about the only footage I can get is in here. And you walk outside to go to the bathroom and you gotta walk while you're going because they just they just swarm you. That's how bad it is out there. So I said, well, I gotta put something on for being up here. Um, I want to give a shout out, a couple channels. Uh, Scrub Buster and uh, Deer Hearse. He's out of Oklahoma. Uh, he used to be a youper. And Scrub Buster just started his channel. I believe he's in West Virginia. Um, give those guys a shout. Give them a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to their channel. Um, like I said, Scrub Buster just started. And Deerhurst has a few videos out there. Um, they got some good content. So give those guys a shout out. Tell them I sent you. Um, no, other than that, I got, uh, I want to say, uh, New View Hunting, reach out to me. And they want to make it better. So. They sent me another blind to do a review on their see-through blind. So probably one day next week I'll uh, get at that. But I, I wanted to reach out to New View, their customer service. I give them a thumbs up. Um, they sent me a new blind. And I'm going to send them the one that broke. I'm going to send them back that back to them. Hopefully they can get to the bottom of it and let me know what happened if it was my fault or if it was their fault or what because um, I've set up I set up all kinds of blinds hub style blinds like that and never had an issue before so we'll see what what happens with the next one I will do a full hopefully set up take down of that blind Cause like I said there are some nice features on that blind that the tie weave blind didn't have, but the tie weave blind and the new view blind are almost identical, except for like two things. So, but I will, I will, I will do another review on that. Hopefully, it turns out better. Um, like I said, that pole just snapped, so that'll be coming shortly. Um, it's 114 more days to bowl season here in Michigan, so that's that's coming. Um, I think this year for rifle season, we got a new guy coming. Uh, there should be five of us up here. Um, another one of my son's buddies wants to come. So my son, his three buddies, me and my brother, um, should maybe six of us, if my brother stays, I don't know if he'll hunt, but five or six of us, that'll be great. That's about all this little camp can handle. Um, you get everybody's gear every, every which way in here, and I got enough room for sleeping, but I don't, once you start piling gear everywhere, it just... You're stepping on it, you're walking all over it. I like to have four, but like Camp Benny says, you hate to refuse people. 
that want to come, and I'm not going to refuse them. Um, the more the better. The camaraderie, the deer camp, that's what it's all about. So hopefully, you know, we'll five, six guys this year. Um, looking forward to that. I just found that out this weekend. Um, but no, I just, it's all the video I can do is sitting in here. Uh, I couldn't take a camera, my phone or anything, and video from where we were today. That was just unbearable, the mosquitoes. But number one, we knew it. And number two, we got it done. Um, we did pull a few ticks off of us, but uh, we survived. Um, it's been raining on and off pretty near since after we did that. So, nope, that's it. Just a short little video on, you know, I'm up at camp, my happy place. But uh, this is all you get. I can't. I ain't going out there and trying to videotape with the mosquitoes. They're it's unbearable how bad they are. So, like I said, another review coming on that new view hunting blind. They did send me another one. They reached out to me, emailed me, and said, "Hey, we're sorry, blah blah blah. We want to make it up." And so they're gonna. They sent me another one. So it's still in the box at home. So, nope. I want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more reviews. And we'll talk to you later.